No, this is everybody who works at Opus. Oh, so okay. So there's seven of us. Wow, wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. So you're getting red dots? Yes. Yeah. yeah there's some good. red dots around. That's excellent. Yeah, and some work's already been taken. So. It's years ago. It's huge. Yeah, this is, um, this is my jewelry. It's wax linen with um, semi-precious stones. Oh, it's that over nice. Yeah, it's really durable and wearable. Beautiful. Soft and pliable yes, and yes. very strong. It's stronger than leather. <laughs> yeah, neat stuff. I love a it. couple necklaces and several bracelets. And they include a little bit of information about the stones as well. Whether it's a birthstone. I have everybody listed right, right yeah. now. So I want yes. people to email me with suggestions of artist okay. sites. Um, and uh, oh, so we can together you. keep continue to build on yes, the site. Absolutely. It's meant to be a resource. Oh, nice. Um, That's excellent. And, but Thank every three you. weeks I post a new interview. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's kind of it's a fun and site. Are you on Twitter as well? I do. Yeah, good. Because you could be posting those onto uh, Twitter as well. Every time I put a new interview yeah. up, I post on Twitter that there's a new interview. So okay. And Facebook and as well. Do you have? Who are you on Twitter? It's called Winter, uh, Winter Cash. It's a local handmade crafters event in, the, in November, late November. It's, um, it was originally developed by Shauna Odlison and Christine McDonald. They're local crafters, yeah, handmaders. They also sell on Etsy. And they started this a couple of years ago, Winter Cash. They did a summer stash event this I've heard year. I've that one, yeah. 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 So I'm going to be participating in that this year. So I'll be creating, doing a lot of, a lot more jewelry, um, and also some textiles for that. So that would be a good event to. So would to you like some of that process recorded? I think, then? Yeah, then I think that would be it? a good That'd one. Be so nice. um, but you know what? I don't think our phone number is on our card. So let me write four three six nine eight zero four. It is. Okay. <laughs> I thought Perfect. I had missed it. And I had yeah. Just, um, painting. Um, so art walk, I do, you know, I have everything related yeah. to the art walk. I've got the painting and the decorative and the jewelry and everything. Wow. But now for the winter, I'm going to be focusing more on the, the jewelry and the textile and things. So. Yeah. Well, I, you, you must have an amazing studio, do you, at home? In your my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> like, on my bed, Is literally. Is that most people's studio like that? This was created on my bed. I've got <laughs> acrylic paint and charcoal on my bed. So I have no studio. That's I. Well, that I That's where, where mine I was too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. On the back deck, you know. Yeah. In doesn't matter where. So when you got to do it, you got to do it. Yeah, I know. And can you tell me about Bullwinkle? Oh, yeah. He's um. He just came to me one night and he just uh, he just called to be painted. Um. Actually, I've been thinking a lot about totem, um, the idea of totem animals, and um, the. All, sort of like a native uh, Aboriginal people's ideas of totem animals and wh how they can uh, lead lead one in their lives. They usually come as spirit animals. Um, they don't come immediately to one in, in your life. I don't particularly have a totem animal, but I'm intrigued about the idea of it and I've been reading a little bit about it. Um, my partner spent 10 years in the Arctic, in the high Arctic, and um, he, we were going through his slides and he had some beautiful photographs of uh, elk and uh, polar bears and um, musk ox and all these beautiful massive mammals <laughs> and uh, and they're all they all have their own spiritual significance uh, to the Inuit and uh, so I started uh, my first painting was a polar bear which is over on that on that side over there and uh, the next thing I knew I was drawing I had this big canvas in my room and I just drew this big um, moose. Um, and right now I have a walrus in my room that needs painting. I've got a big charcoal drawing of a walrus. So these big, massive, significant mammals um, are just coming out. So, yeah. That's <laughs>